Hello, this video is going to show you how to get remote play on the Steam Deck. So let's get this started by going to power, going down to switch to desktop mode, or switch to desktop. Once you get there, go to discovery and type in Chiaki. Once you get that down, it'll look like this. Make sure you install it, it will take a few moments. Once it installs, you have to hit launch and it will come to the screen. On here, you will see host, broadcast, consoles. Click the consoles that you're already using. You'll see PSN ID and then PSN account ID. So this you normally cannot find, but we will get to that in a moment. So in the pen, I will show you how to do that right now. So let's get ready to switch over to the PS5 or PS4, depending on what you're using. And we will do that. So how we do this is we go to settings, system, remote play, make sure remote play is enabled, go to the link, and then you'll see a code that lasts for 300 seconds. So let's go back to our web browser and we'll type in GitHub, the link will be in the description, we'll take you to this page. So once we get here, just highlight the link, go to copy, and then open it up in a new thing a window and log into your PlayStation account. Once that is done, you'll see a redirect and just copy the URL at the top of the, sc top of the screen. So now that that is done, let's go copy it and go back over to Trinket and let's copy it into the program. Now note, it may freeze on you the first time. If it does, don't worry, just go up and hit refresh and paste it in again and if it's done correctly you will see this and you will now see your account ID all right here. so we're going to going to copy that or if you don't want to do that just have a pen and paper and write it down so once that is complete we're going to switch back over to the Chiaki and go to PSN account ID and once that is done, just paste it in here, make sure everything is the same. Now, for the next step, we are going to go back to the PS5 or PS4, go to settings, go to system again, go to remote play, go to link devices, and you'll be presented with the code again. And whatever the code is, just copy it into the pin. And once that is ready, you'll be ready to hit register. And we are ready to go to the next step. Okay, once we registered, you'll see successfully registered. And once that is successful, just hit OK. And now we will be presented with this and it will say discovered and status ready. But before we do that, let's get ready to go over to the gear icon and change a few settings around. So mostly everything is done and set up correctly, but I like to go to resolution and go to 720p. It's normally on 1080p but the screen deck screen is only 720p, so let's just leave it at 720p. So a note, with the newest update for Steam, audio buffer size will need to be changed to 19200 to fix the buffer, so you will not get audio tearing once you actually start streaming to your Steam Deck. So now that that click it, it does take a few moments to load for the first time. So let's add this to your Steam. So let's go to add non-Steam game. Go down to Chiaki. Hit add, select the program. Once you get there, you can go to controller layout or the little controller icon. Let's hit edit layout. So what I like to do is go down to trackpad, hit right track pad of behavior and hit cl right click and hit escape key. So what that does is allow you to use your PSN main menu. So let's go to play and once that is done you are ready to enjoy remote play on your Steam Deck.